In this video, I'd like to look at an example of how to use the SEO matrix to make decisions about whether or not a niche is too competitive. So imagine for a moment that you're a very keen golfer and that you'd like to create an internet business in the golf market. If you research the market level keyword golf using Market Samurai, the SEO competition matrix looks like this. Now the first thing you'll notice about this SEO matrix is that the first four columns are entirely red. If we look in more detail, you can see that all of the top 10 websites for the search term golf have a domain age of greater than 10 years. They have very high page ranks of 5 and up to 7, and they also have an enormous number of backlinks to the ranking pages and also to the overall domain. Many of the sites also have a high number of links from .edu or .gov domains. Most of them appear to be listed in the DMOZ and Yahoo directories, and quite a few of them have also optimised their on-page factors. What this means is that the ranking pages have the word golf in their title, in their URL, their description, and their header tags. This is an example of an extremely competitive niche. Quite frankly, it would be almost pointless to try and compete for the term golf given the strengths of the websites you'd be competing against. However, this does not mean that you have to give up on your plan to create a golf-related online business. Instead, you just need to drill down into the market to find a more accessible niche or micro-niche. For example, instead of trying to target the keyword golf, let's take a look at the SEO matrix for the keyword phrase golf putter. You'll immediately notice that this SEO matrix is a lot less red than the previous matrix. If we look at the values in the columns, we'll see why. While the top ranking pages are still very well established, with most of them having been online for over five years, the page ranks vary from between two and five, which suggests that this term is not as competitive as the term golf. Looking at the backlinks, we can see that there's quite a wide range in the number of page backlinks from 3 up to over 10,000. The domain backlinks also cover quite a wide range. Only one of the domains has links from .edu or .gov domains, and some of them are appeared in the DMOZ and the Yahoo directories. When we look at the on-page factors, we can see that only a few of the ranking pages have been optimised for the term golf putter. Overall, this SEO matrix shows that the term golf putter is definitely less competitive than the term golf. However, with the mid-level page rank values and the number of page and domain backlinks, it would still take quite a lot of effort to reach the front page of Google if we were focusing on the term golf putter. So now, let's take a look at the SEO matrix for the term ladies driver. Once again, the websites that are ranking are all very well established sites. But this time, there are several pages ranking in the top 10 Google listings that have a page rank of zero and also have zero page backlinks. The fact that most of these sites have very few page backlinks but a high number of domain backlinks suggests that these sites are ranking because of the overall authority of the domain rather than the authority of the specific pages. None of the sites have backlinks from edu or .gov websites, but many of them are listed in the DMOZ and Yahoo directories. When we look at the on-page factors, we can see that several of the ranking pages are actually optimised for the term ladies driver. Of the three terms we've looked at, the term ladies driver appears to be the most accessible, mainly because the ranking websites do not have very strong link networks. In comparing these SEO matrices, the term golf is clearly too competitive and would be one to avoid. 
The sites ranking for the phrase golf putter appear to have fairly strong link networks, as indicated by their backlink values, so this niche still appears to be quite competitive. In contrast, the sites ranking for the term ladies driver do not appear to have very strong link networks or a high level of page rank authority, which suggests that ladies driver would be the most accessible of these three terms. As this example shows, the strength of competition in a market is determined by a wide range of factors. The SEO competition module in Market Samurai allows you to get a real-time snapshot of these factors so that you can compare niches and eventually identify a niche which has an acceptable level of competition.